Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, perform a response spectrum analysis in Sysmo uh, structure software. Uh, including the pushover analysis, which is the main part of the, the software for uh, uh, performance-based design, the dynamic and pseudo-dynamic uh, response spectrum analysis also included. Uh, just uh, we will create such a simple structure and we will apply one of the uh, created uh, response spectrum from an existing earthquake uh, record okay now uh, the same like previous i want to use for the simplicity of the uh, modeling and tutorials so just i want to use wizard which is quickly i can model the structure uh, as a approximate size when you have uh, a real project then you have to create the plan and then you bring it in the system structure and conduct any sort of analysis you want. Uh, the structure we suppose is a 3D, which is a three bay, and a number of story is five story, and a number of frame is also three frame. The bay length is uh, five meter, and the story height is uh, three point six meters. And the spacing of frame is five meter two. <clears throat> the structure is uh, reinforcement concrete, which are uh, giving a uh, temporary section. And here in a loading type, we want to select response spectrum analysis. Okay. Now the structure automatically created three bay three frames and five story now in a material we first check material uh, this is still material um, in previous also in the previous tutorial i discussed about this uh, material we want to check it again this is the existence behavior of this uh, steel material which is uh, very popular by uh, Montego to uh, Montego to uh, paint steel model, and this one is the concrete. The concrete uh, is uh, Mander. You also can select other sort of concrete. We have uh, here is about five or six six uh, concrete material. Usually, this material is used for nonlinear analysis. Now in the section, the same cross section is used in a previous tutorial. Uh, just we want to accept this one, 50 centimeters by 30 centimeters, and the thickness of cavity is 2.5 centimeters. In the next, in the later tutorials, I will uh, show you how to uh, create section and how to uh, reach through fit or uh, extend the section to a straining structure or a straining section now just we want to see in the first to learn this response spectrum analysis the element type the element type is uh, fiber based uh, plastic inch and the node which is created the entire structure uh, because it's using finite element method so the structure is uh, divided by node and element. So here is connectivity between nodes and also uh, the floor giving a rigid diaphragm as a constraint and also the boundary condition which is the fixed base. And the applied load, we don't have any uh, load in this section which is mostly used for pushover and time history. And here is the giving uh, permanent load to this beam. And here is, or we should check uh, the existing structure uh, based on which available code. 
So I usually use uh, this uh, rehabilitation code or uh, uh, this, is, this code is mostly used for best performance analysis, usually for retrofitting of the structure uh, and also uh, earthquake resist, uh, retrofitting and also earthquake renovation. Uh, now the na analysis output, the analysis output you can uh, check uh, such as uh, we can see some columns or some beams, uh, stress and strain behaviors because mostly we use fiber elements so the, uh, the cross section has stress strain and also uh, we can check which node or uh, element you want to get the output so entire beam is giving entire uh, uh, node is giving so in the deformation shape you can see the entire structure uh, output now the main part is the response spectrum analysis part so here is the response spectrum curve which is uh, called user defined spectrum in the if you have a response spectrum curve already created, use some code and you can uh, call, paste it here. Paste here. Uh, then you can conduct the analysis. And if you don't have, then you want to uh, use some accelerogram data. Now, I want to use accelerogram data, which uh, uh, Accelerogram data, which is uh, the recorded uh, earthquake, then we convert that time history record to a to a response spectrum. Now uh, I can go to the uh, here, select so where you uh, save the. Uh, so your data if you have you can uh, uh, actually sp specify the exact location uh, and uh, specify the, the location and take that data and bring here or the program will automatically will convert to a, a response spectrum curve so now I selected the Kubi data, it's actually time history. The time history, they using this skill factor, changing from G to meter per square second. And this is the number of time. And here is the, we select two uh, time and acceleration. The second column should be acceleration. Now I'm going to okay. Now this is a time history the program automatically take it will take the uh, response spectrum curve so which is uh, changing from the multi degree of freedom to single degree of freedom named ok and automatically it's created this time period in case if i want to extend the dumping i can give the damping <coughs> 5% or 2% so usually we use 5% now I can again to see exactly this one this is okay we define and here is something how to how you apply this response spectrum to the structure so there is actually uh, some uh, recommendation that you can read so I usually use uh, 100% uh, response spectrum to X direction and 100% to Y direction and 30% to the Y vertical direction. You can create a set combination or you can just get uh, X, Y, or 2. In case I want to uh, delete this, this is the automatic created combination. I go to add. It is also called add standard. You standard you can get this one. But I want uh, just called REX. 
the model combination, the program will actually uh, determine the model, conduct a model analysis and will take the model of the structure, then how we use that combination here. We have uh, three method, absolute sum of uh, this method and also uh, quadratic a Q, uh, combination quadratic um, this and also some more SRSs. This is three combination which is taking the model displacement and calculating this combining the models. Now uh, the, the cumulative mass should take from the gravity and live load and the totally should participate about 90% to this analysis. Now here is the uh, combination. So you can create 100% to the x, 100% to the y direction, and 0.30 in the y direction. When you give this one RS, so that means in this uh, uh, combination, it will consider 100% of this in x, 100% of this uh, response pressure in the y, and 30% y. Now, the same, I should give this one, should be 0, this one, 1, 1, and this should be 0 0.3. Okay, and now we created a load combination. So that means if, if you're using this in, in, up, in uh, SAP or ETAPS, you will give... Uh, you can also apply in the same in one uh, uh, one and also you can take one by one as well so now we create it and that's all we're gonna go to the processor and perform the analysis it asked me to uh, save i can call it rs analysis Now it's starting and you can see the uh, so uh, it didn't showing any uh, real displacement so we can go to the uh, post processing and we want to see the result so this is a post of result which is uh, uh, this earthquake record cause uh, these amounts of uh, This is the moment in moment two, moment three. In each element, uh, suppose you just want to see in the horizontal elements in the beams. This is the force uh, which is created from from this analysis. Uh, we should uh, vertical. Uh, sorry, this one we should uncheck because we want to see all the structure so this is the uh, shear force which is creating created uh, uh, on the response spectrum now you can see in the bottom is large and it is distributed uh, to the top this uh, during this uh, response spectrum uh, you also can see the deformation shape shape now you can see uh, shoe displacement and uh, X so this is the formation ship is very small we can extend it okay now we can see another uh, fake action so we saw this one and I'm just checking the global response now the global response is we want to see the top node displacement now I can uh, say the max and you can see the maximum and minimum which is almost about uh, 60 62 millimeter or uh, six point because it's a meter you can change to uh, 
times 100 is with 6.2 millimeter, which is very least. Also, effects uh, element of actions. You can go to check the beam column uh, to H beam column uh, rotations and also axial deformation and torsional rotations. And also, you can see the frame uh, H beam columns uh, moments in max min, as well as the instances curve of. Uh, each column. Now let's see this one. This is the Isis curve of uh, beam to 12. And this is the maximum width here. Now uh, we can go to uh, here uh, in the analysis output. Uh, the, we have also some uh, strain output. Uh, we selected some beam columns. There was, let's see this beam column, and here is the maximum stress strain strain of this the beam. Section A, section B, you can see. And yeah, here is we selected this. Uh, Stress strain of that beam. Now you can see here stress, and this is strain, main strain in that section. And uh, here is uh, analysis logo, and we should uh, see the uh, uh, total uh, the report of this uh, here is a, a report of uh, of this analysis so now uh, here is the all the results you can uh, see uh, because we use combination output and it's created all the forces so force at the restraint now you can see this is in an x direction this is in the x direction and this is in the y direction and this is the z direction uh, which is uh, reaction force and this is the rota rotation uh, so we have a lot of uh, data and you can uh, select all and you can then uh, uh, paste to other software or you can export here to a text file then you can read the entire uh, data here is the beam and each beam is giving the force uh, also force um, shear force bending moments everything so this is the uh, element in field. this is the section axis element curvature this is the element curvature and This is the element force. So this is the uh, force. This is V2, V3, moment, moment, and this is the actual force. So this F is the actual force. Uh, okay, nothing left. And uh, so this is the <coughs> end of the tutorial. And finally, we want to export it and save to desktop and in the next uh, time you can see the results so here's also some other things that such as the uh, natural period the natural uh, uh, frequency of the structure and uh, model uh, mass participation everything and also uh, peak ground acceleration uh, everything so uh, this is the end of the tutorial. If you have any question, please put in the comment and I will find time to answer you. See you next time.